Hey everybody, it's Chris Yotaku here back with another unboxing and as you can see I have a really you know, beat up package from Right Stuff but before I get to this um, box I want to show you a couple of items that I picked up from one item is from Right Stuff and one is from uh, FYE which is a store that sells like movies and stuff like that and they're going out of business so they had a sale on like everything like anime wise and like just stuff in general. But I did make a video for it, but what happened was the video got, the file for it got corrupt. So I lost that video. So I'm just gonna, you know, redo it as much as I can. Well, it's only three items. So here we have Data Live 2. This is the second season for the Data Live series. And this is the only edition that's out now by Funimation because, you know, they suck when it comes, I don't know why they're not releasing uh, limited editions anymore. So here we have Yuzuru, Benka, Yuzuru, Kaguya, Miku, Katori, Itsuka, Shu, Itsuka, Toka, Toka, and Kurumi. The front, the spine is kind of hard to read. Data Live 2. This is 10 episodes, 10 episodes, second season, and one OVA. Blu ray DVD combo. And here we have 10 episodes. English 5.1 surround sound, Japanese stereo, regions 1, 2, 4, region A Blu-ray, 1080p, high definition, 16 by 9 HD native, Dolby True HD 5.1, Japanese 2.0. Again, um, this season was kind of like, I remember watching it when it was airing, like, wow, like, I think almost two years ago, yeah. Yeah, almost two years ago. And it's kind of a disappointment. This is, um... Shiori Itsuka is when, uh, spoiler alert, when Sh uh, Shido becomes a girl. Disc 1, there's Miku in the back. Disc 2, with the Yami twins, there's Miku and Disc 3. And here is image art for the Yuzuru, the Yami sisters, I apologize. But disappointment that Funimation did not, you know, do a limited edition release for the set. I'm pretty shocked. I mean, I'm surprised they're going pretty cheap on their uh, releases. And here we have a Studio Ghibli film. Again, I got this from a store in the mall. They were going out of business and they were charging 15 bucks for this on sale. This is when uh, Marnie was there. This is a Studio Ghibli film on Blu-ray DVD combo. Uh, I think this is released by Universal Studios. Here's the front. Here is the spine with the female protagonist. And here is the back. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo. Like I said, there isn't really any specs. Um, Blu-ray wise, I know it's uh, 60 by nine, probably region one for the DVDs, region A for the Blu-rays. It's a bare bones release, as you can see. Uh, I know this is, uh, I think double, uh, oh, this is DTS HD audio. And I think the DVDs are Dolby True HD. I haven't watched it yet, but I know it's Studio Ghibli's recent film that they released. And here we have the final pickup is, this is the Ghost in the Shell, the 25th anniversary edition. I got this at the store as well. This is a Blu-ray, the Blu-ray release. It's a nice holographic design. I know this came out a couple years ago. Just wanted to pick it up. Because I wanted to see the film, the original film for a while. And I know it was pretty cheap. It was like around $15. Here's the front. Here's the spine, the main protagonist is on the front, I mean on the spine, and here is the back. I know this is Makoto Kusanagi. Again, this is a Blu-ray only release. I mean, this is a Blu-ray release. This is Dolby 5.1 DTS HD audio, and then Dolby Digital 2.0, 16 by nine. I'm assuming it is HD native, or most likely a remastered. I think it is a remastered. And same thing, no changes really. It's a one disc release, comes with a special booklet, um, mostly it is just staff credits, and if you're hearing, if you hear like a hammer in the background, that's, they are renovating a house, two houses from me, so if you hear the hammering, I do apologize, and pretty much it is a um, interview with Mamoru Oshi. Um, Yep, and there's this pretty much, you know, making of Ghost in the Shell, 
and the, the world itself. Some promotional art right there. The impact of Ghost in the Shell. I mean, you know, Ghost in the Shell is a huge, was a huge thing. Because, you know, they're also making a, a live action film, an American adaptation to the series. I know Scarlett Johansson, I think, is playing Makoto Kusunagi. So that's going to be an interesting adaptation when that comes out, I think, in a couple years. But uh, let's get to this big box. Um, yeah, let's get to it. But I'm um, pretty scared because it's pretty beat the hell up. I'll show the advertisements real quick, you know. Simple post-its from Right Stuff as usual. Advertisement for Re Hamatora. It was released, you know, months ago. Um, start off with the first item. This is a movie, as you can see. Uh, this is Summer Wars. This is a movie done by, I am going to butcher the name, that the name's not on here, sadly. I'm going to butcher the crap out of it. By uh, Mamoru Osara. This is his first, I think this is his second film. It came out in 2009. This has been unreleased, you know, years years ago by Funimation. It's a spine. I wanted to collect all the, the movies done by him. Like, I pre-ordered The Girl Who Lead Through Time, which I haven't seen in a while. Um, I pre-ordered Boy and the Beast. I also am going to pick up Wolf Children soon. But yeah. Okay, this is a Blu-ray DVD combo, like most, pretty much every Funimation release. This has been, you know, this was released like four years ago, I believe. As English 5.1 Dolby Surround Sound, Japanese 5.1 Dolby Surround Sound, Region 1, Region A, 1080p HD 60 by 9 native, HD native, Dolby Tree HD 5.1, Japanese 5.1, and so forth. And this is different artwork for the front, spine, and the back. But yeah, I'm really happy uh, Funimation got the rights to the girl who lived for time. That was pretty good that they got that right. But hopefully uh, Funimation releases other Bondi releases, because they have... I'll be... Sorry about that, guys. So as I was saying... I don't remember what I was saying, but... um, Hopefully, yeah, Funimation... Um, that's the releases to more of uh they you know they license all these Bondi releases and they haven't been you know releasing them lately. <laughs> so here's the Blu-ray. And oh there's two DVDs. That's oh no, sorry, this is the DVD one, DVD two, and this is Blu-ray disc one. And no back art, <laughs> which is Odd. Pretty odd for a Funimation release. Well, I, actually no, I think I think Funimation just helped dub it. I think didn't help release it. I don't, I'm not really sure about what. I don't know. But whatever. Let's get on to the second thing. So the second item we have, continuing on with the Ghost in the Shell theme, is we have the Ghost in the Shell, the new movie. This is the motion picture. Um, I'm, I, don't, I don't know, is this the fifth episode of the Ghost in the Shell OVA series? I think it is, I'm not really 100% sure. But uh, here's the front, here's Makoto Kusanagi. Um, I don't really remember the character, I haven't watched the... I didn't unbox, my first, one of my first unboxings was Ghost in the Shell Arise Parts 1 and 2. I bought, that was like my first unboxing, but I, I watched that a year ago. And at the time, 3 and 4 didn't exist yet on physical, like, Funimation didn't dub it yet. And they didn't release it, like they had the imports and stuff like that. Here is the spine. And here is the back. Follow your ghost. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack with a digital HD download of the film. Which is, I don't know if anyone actually does that. English 5.1 surround sound, Japanese 5.1, region 1, region A for the Blu-ray, 1080p HD native 16 by 9 W2 HD 5.1, Japanese 5.1. I think there is some special features. This movie is also 100 minutes, so hour and 40 minutes. But, um, I did pick up for this unboxing, I think you probably saw it. I did pick up Ghost in the Shell Parts 3 and 4, finally. So I can, I'm definitely going to be rewatching that and 
checking it out once again. Don't want to show my code. That was pretty stupid how I did that. But here is the DVD and here is the movie. It's red and the Blu-ray. Sorry for the film. Sorry if I sat, if I'm acting at least gibberish today. But uh, here is the back art. It's kind of hard to see. If you can with the glare, it is Makoto Kusanagi. Actually, I'll bring it up a little bit because it's kind of hard to see. Still, kind it's still kind of difficult to see. But there is Makoto Kusanagi on the back. Um, I'm gonna Google later if it is. This is actually the fifth um, volume to the OVA series. I'm not 100% sure. I know that the um, the TV series they did the anime adaptation, like the 10 episode anime adaptation, was pretty much. The OVA is one to five, and it's pretty much in a ten-episode release. But yes, this is so. The next item I have is Ghost in the Shell parts three and four with Makoto Kusanagi on the front. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack of OVAs number three and number four, Ghost Tears and Ghost Stands Alone. Here is the front. Here is the spine, Makoto on the spine, top, the back, control, alt, destroy. Has again the two OVAs, they're on an hour, I think a piece, 116 minutes, so roughly 80 minutes a piece. So like an hour, hour and 10 minutes maybe, an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 20 minutes. I could be wrong, I don't know. There's two VAs and two DVDs, English 5.1, Japanese surround sound, and English Dolby surround sound, 10E PhD native, Chobi Truitsi 5.1, English, Japanese 5.1, extras, I know they have commentary, interview the directors, and so forth in the world of Ghost in the Shell. I had again, I haven't watched this in like over a year, so I'm really happy to pick this up. I know this was released back in October of 2015, I just haven't got the chance to pick it up. It's just like, there was this, you know, a lot of other things came first. A lot of, a lot of other pre-orders. I still have a lot of pre-orders. Like, there's still other things I haven't got the chance to pick up yet. Like, I wanted to pick up, um, you know, your line, the Your Lion April uh, release, but it's pretty damn expensive. It has a nice, you know, embossed holographic thing to it. Again, it's not a chipboard, it's just a cheap cardboard box. So, um, look at the, this is Ghost Tears. Here's everyone, I think, from Division 9. I think, I could not be, I could be wrong. I have not watched this in a while. So I do apologize if I am incorrect. So it's a nice blue eye mirror. came with the blue books, DVD. It's the Blu-ray release. I think it's just some artwork of the city itself. Nothing special, but yeah, this did get released almost yeah, seven months ago. So yeah, just some, it's a description of the OVA uh, character designs. Yeah, you have Ichikawa, Paz, uh, uh, Bar Barma, I remember him. I, yeah, I haven't, again, I haven't watched this in months. I know I keep repeating myself like 55,000 times. But uh, yeah, this is the border number three, or the third OVA. And then here we have the fourth, which is Ghost in the Shell, Ghost Stands Alone. Here's the spine, and we saw the back. It is a yellow, Release with a yellow booklet. There's more pictures of background scenery. And another small book. Ghost in the Shell Rise. Again, just description of the border and the ROVA. Some character descriptions, character and so forth. And that is the Ghost in the Shell, parts three and four of EA.
do have one more item. This is from Sentai Filmworks. You probably did see it as I took it out of the box. Here we have the Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun Limited Edition or Premium Edition by Sentai Filmworks. Here we have the front, the spine, a very nice spine. And here is the back and also the top right here. This is released um, March 28th, but it was released earlier. Uh, the right stuff to get it, I think a month early. I'm a pretty sure they did. But this again, this is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. It also comes with the art book, an art book, and also comes with the soundtrack as well. Here we have the Blu-ray Virgin A, 1080p high definition 60x9, English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0, the Japanese is 2.0, DVD is Region 1, 480i, and Dolby, Dolby Digital 2.0, Japanese 2.0, 300 minutes, 12, which is 12 episodes. And I know it, they, do ha they did get the rights, I think it comes with um, some ONAs, like 5 minute uh, anime shorts that it comes with this. They were on the special features of the Japanese releases for the series. Um, um, I haven't seen this show. I know this, this is kind of a running gag on my channel that I've, like everything I purchased I've never seen. But I know what it... Oh, that's an interesting feeling. Wow. Okay, so it's, it's not like, a, it's not a glossy, like, like, you know, in a lot of Sentai Filmworks releases, it's not like a glossy feel it has like a a texture to it like like, like you're feeling it like here it's not smooth it's like it has a rough texture to it which is interesting but uh yeah i haven't seen it but i've heard very good things about this series very, countless memes that were released for this series but here we have the blu-rays i know this is the main female protagonist and here is the front, the spine, and it is two discs. Discs episodes one to nine on disc one, 10 to 12 on disc two. And it does come with, I think, the ONAs. I'm pretty sure. Yes, the Nozaki kun shorts. It does come with the ONAs. Oh, so here's the little poster. And here we have disc one with the main protagonist and the main female protagonist. And here we have some artwork of another character from the show. And I was pretty worried about this show because I, I thought it had very little extras. So here we have some stickers. But um, with the soundtrack and art book, that's pretty, you know, it's good because Sentai Filmworks hasn't released anything. A lot of their limited editions recently haven't had like any Personally, they have like they weren't they were lackluster like the kill a kill set and the parasite release in my opinion were lackluster But uh, here's the poster. I'm trying to get in the frame pretty much. It's the Same it's pretty much. Yeah It's pretty it's a nice poster. Yeah, it's not double-sided It's a one-sided poster, but uh, yeah Sentai Filmworks um, with their recent limited editions I feel like they're a little bit lackluster like kill a kill for example like I felt like it was very like it was a very bare bones limited edition release, same as uh, Parasite in my opinion. But um, here we have the DVDs. I know this character is a female. I do know that. <laughs> here is the front, the spine. Um, Sentai Filmworks does three DVDs, which is one to four, four to eight, nine to twelve. Disc one. Disc two, disc three, and there's some artwork right here, which is nice. Honestly, I'd say Sentai Filmworks, I'd say is probably, they do the best disc art, in my opinion, for all the really As I said, when my camera stopped recording, Sentai Filmworks does have really nice disc art out of, you know, Funimation, Anaplex, and so forth. And here we have the soundtrack. As you can see, I literally thought, oh, I didn't realize this was an iPod cord. <laughs> here we have the front. 
the spine and we have a three disc soundtrack. There's at least, the first one has 10 tracks, the second has 24, and the third one has 24 as well. Um, nice CD art. I like that with the, um, so it's like a design, like, um, it's not a floral design, but honestly, the soundtrack design is nicer than, um, what they did for No Game No Life. I like how it says limited edition on the top of the screen, of the disc. I think it's like that with the, um, I think with the Blu-rays as well, the disc. Um, let me go see. I'm kind of curious. Oh, they do. Okay, so yeah. Okay. It does say limited edition on there, which is kind of nice. So I wonder with the standard edition, I wonder if it's um, the same disc art. Or, they, is it, or is it like slightly altered? And here we have the um, the art book. Um, a little disappointment in my opinion. I don't like how they did was, like they put like, they're probably like, oh, the complete soundtrack and special features include Let's Sing Along and has the interviews right there. I think that's kind of cheesy. Like I know they, they usually put that on like the filler box they usually have, but it's whatever. It's still a nice hardcover book. Here is the spine. This is the limited edition special booklet. It does say that, but you, you can't really see it. Special edition. Here is the back. It's like Sentai Filmworks is honestly. Real. I love when it comes to their art books. You know, they have nice table of contents, episode guides. Uh, character designs. We have Chio, Chio Sakura, uh, Matsuyuki, Hori, right there. More character designs. Let's fall in love. Um, so some drawings, some interviews, probably with the director, the series supervisor and screenplay designer. Some more stuff with the characters. Special interviews, probably with the Japanese voice actors. Yep, the Japanese say the seiyus, and so forth, and just some extra stuff. Which is honestly, it's quite nice. Oh, they actually have the lyrics to right here. They actually have the complete soundtrack volume one. So they list the soundtrack and also has the character song. So I'm just wow. So I'm pretty assuming they have the character song in here, which is pretty cool. And it just shows like the cast and so forth. But um, that's really much it for this unboxing. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um, this is, was, none of it was really pre-ordered. I, I do have pre-orders coming in at the end of the month. So I do have, um, you know, I do have like Black Butler coming in. I also have, um, also other stuff coming in in like May. So I really didn't have anything special coming in. I just picked this up because, um, I, a lot of my money this month went for the uh, the vision of Escaflone, the Escaflone um, Kickstarter that Funimation did a month ago, and so a lot of my money went to there. I picked out, I backed the collector's edition, so when that comes in November. I will be doing a boxing of that, and yeah, that's pretty much it um, for this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I just found that we have. At this time, as I'm recording it, we have 331 subscribers. Honestly, thank you guys so much for watching this, just checking out my channel. And I really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me that you guys are actually interested in the content I put out. But yeah, that's everything for this unboxing. I'll be doing a boxing soon of my monthly manga haul. So again, please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this one. And you know what? I'll see you guys next time.